Shocks is without any question one of the greatest CSGO players of all time. If you were to rank a top five of all time, I don't see any any possible reason as to why he wouldn't be in everyone's top five. He's, he's absolutely one of the most skilled players of all time. He's one of the most successful of all time, actually, in CSGO now. If we think about skill, we can talk about his peak in late 2013, when he pretty much carried very games to the top of the mountain, made them the best team in the world. In terms of success, Coming from a 1.6 background, one of the things that makes Shock so interesting to me is I never expected to see a player like this when we got like a shared game and all the talent in theory came over. Obviously not entirely, like some talent didn't transition well, some talent just retired entirely at the end of 1.6. But in terms of like all the best people who want to be a CS Pro now are competing against each other, I didn't think we'd see a player like Shox. We saw what the Shox effect can do. Now what I'm interested to see is, how, ma how many more times will I see this? Will, will Shox be a player where I'm just talking about him like in the past, like you had to have seen him in like October 2013, it was godlike, the level was absolutely amazing, he could do this, he could do that. Will he ever truly become that player again? We don't know, but it, for his time and for his capabilities, when he's at his peak, Shox is something we've never seen in CSGO. He's utterly unique in terms of skills, his strengths, and the effect he can have both on his teammates and the opponent is something that other players can do it in a different way, but no one in the way that Shox can. Well, see with the AWP already over his, I think it's a very smart, uh, a nice touch, I like this. It's a change, not often that we see Shox actually go for the AWP. Um, Inferno at least, so this is... Through the smoke and now it's gonna come down to Shoxy, he's gonna get caught in the corner though. Gets a running shot on a Neo! Gets a second one, Shoxy's making it happen! A third one, Shoxy! The board! Shoxy is a god! The ace! What did we just witness Virtus Pro get obliterated? For a long time, it's, there's been like a, a talk about whether or not Shoxy is, you know, in, in, being close to being the best player in the world. And with a play like that, you know, he just takes a few points in that direction. Sword checker, no one to peek from behind the boxes. Thankfully, it's already been cleared off. Ooh, night. Well, what, what is that, Shox? Two huge kills. Dennis oh. goes down, Crims follows up, and Shox is absolutely on fire. Look at that shot as well. Benton's gone. Mathenon's now on 20 kills. He's turned things around massively on his CT side. It's just enough for the difference making, perhaps. As Ms. Jano caught by Shox. Nice shot showing off that individual skill still exists in abundance. Molotov as well to cover off balcony existence. Did he see him? I'm not sure he did right away. Second thought and second reaction. Double take, finds Nico, takes him down. It's actually Shox that gets the kill after existence does the damage because the flames are still in place. And Shox now down to the one-on-one. -on -one. He's got four kills in this. This would be an ace and a one-on-one -on -one clutch. He spots Dennis. Can he pull this off? If Shox does, it would be the round of the game. He almost hits the head on Dennis, but not going to happen so far. In fact, none of those bullets connect. Shox still searching for it and gets it. An ace and the win. Shox is not really much, you can die dissecting that round to be honest, this Shox, as we said, one of the world's best aimers and fraggers uh, the game has to offer. You can see the, uh, the NIP grenades over there, and I first we saw the first one do that at, at Aspen. And, uh, wow, okay, Shox going to pick up a quick kill on value there, this is, uh, could get, get quite dangerous. Uh, Shox is just going to keep running in. You're going to get another When flag. you get a kill like that, I don't know what you're supposed to do against them. The guy was jumping. That's the Glock. shooting you in the head with the Glock. It's, it's the Glock, man. It's so hard. I mean, this is another... He's already made a highlight video at this point. He's got four frags on the board. He's got this exist left if he wants to get the ace. There we go. Might as well go for the fifth. And uh, it's going to be exist looking to go. Give, it, give the ace. There it is. There we go. That's a headshot as well. Very work there. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's actually unreal level of pistol play. Because every single one was a separate guy. Yeah. It wasn't like they were all there. He spammed it and he just got a few headshots. That, that, the, the, when he's on form, Shox just has some of the most insane first bullet accuracy. Pretty, pretty long of me. 
go. There's a quick trigger there from Cloud9. They want to get into this, but there's still shocks. Three back to back for him, just spraying in. Cloud9 are being disassembled one by one by one man. Scream moving back in there. He is going to be shut down by Slemmy. But Shock Snap is still alive, still well peeking out. And oh my goodness, that spray transfer shuts out Slemmy. Along with Skadoodle has started off. G2, there's no stopping them now. Flashes to retake, so they have to take these duels. And it's just Luminosity systematically shutting them down. A very long time here on Dust 2. It's on Shocks in a 1 on 3 to try and keep it alive. Otherwise, we'll go to a fifth map in the Grand Finals. Shocks tabs out one, and that's a deadly kill. Goes for the second, and he's moving closer, looking for the quad clutch here. FNX, the last man alive. He's going to tap the bomb once. Shocks. Oh, 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 oh. You've got to be kidding. He takes the quad kill. And that is, is it going to keep the dream alive? I think he'll have just enough time for the defuse here. He wants to shoot people in the face and he will close the distance if he has to. Look at that, one bullet fired. One man down. He may get taken down from the back though. What is that? Are you serious? He can't do this! No! Tucker, the last man standing, comes up and saves the entire team! PK pushing into the back and he goes down to Cold Sierra. It's all on shocks. He picks up one and goes back for more. He has no grenades. Luminosity in overtime here looking for the shot. Shock's gonna pick up one more. Triple for him. Oh, he gets the quad kill. Are you kidding me, Shoxy? He gets every single one and keeps the dream alive. One of the maddest retakes I have ever seen. Someone might be sneaking in there, but it's obviously going to be an A hit and Scream right around the corner here from Main. And look at that coming out of the doorway. It's going to be Scream going down. Shocks. Oh, what? oh my God, Shotzi! Going to be picking up one more headshot. I can't believe it. He's looking for the ace here all on his own. Connor on the other side. And Shotzi, are you kidding me? That's going to be the ace in the round. Unreal play. And there's that superstar. There's that world class that we keep talking about. Waiting it finally with a good headshot early on. Shoxy coming in with a really good timing. Gets a great double. A quad kill just like that. All of them headshots. And it's going to be Neo alone here. One on one. The bomb has dropped down there. 40 seconds left. And Neo, he knows it. He's just waiting for it. This is going to be a real duel between the two legends. Neo, all he has to do is wait. Exactly. And he, you can see him adjusting his position right here. He's making up for the fact that if, if Shoxy cho chose to wrap around in through mid doors, Neo would then have that angle covered. And now Neo worried about listening for steps from B. That's not going to be the case, though. Shoxi manages the dark board. He picks up the bomb. Are you kidding me? Shoxi makes it out of there. Neo lets it happen. The AG. Oh, the what? Oh, what? Oh, Shoxi! The ace. That is completely insane. Shoxi. He's done it again. Versus Virtus Pro. This man is unstoppable. Unreal! Still too late. Shocks, he's not going to miss those. And now 3v4. G2 need to hold this one back. But flashes galore with Cloud9. They start to increase their way to the site. Shocks with a stunner towards nothing. And now 1v4. He needs to go above and beyond. He needs the ace. And he's going to go for it as well. 50 points. Another for Shocks. This could be absolutely sensational. 1v1 against Shroud. The clock is ticking. Shroud's holding it down. And it's going to be Shocks with the ace. Coming in when it matters. Sheer brilliance from that man. Nicely played by Shocks. That's what we wanted to see from him. That's what we were talking about in the pregame. If he shows up, that spells trouble for Cloud9. And he's going to bring his best day game to this one. Currently leading the fragging power 4G2 by a big margin.